Man, it's been forever since I made a video. What time even is it? Oh, what the? Hello everybody, I'm back today with finally some brand new content, and I'm here to test out probably the most useless but interesting game mechanic, fishing levels. So, for the purposes of this exercise, I've placed down over a thousand crab pots all over the Stardew Valley map, simply for me to empty once a day to collect and to eventually, or should I say hopefully, reach level 10 in fishing, before I, you know, end up dying of boredom. As each crab pot will only give me five fishing points each, so let's just say the exponential increase of crab pots I have to open to get later fishing levels is going to be interesting. Anyways, let's get started. Well, just have to open them now. Alright, let's get to work. So, we have a lot of crab pots empty. I don't even know how much money I'm gonna make from this, because I'm. Sorry. I just have to dispose of uh, some items. Yeah. Uh. Kind of did a little bit of foolery. Let's just uh, go with these. So I've used a ridiculous amount of crab pots, and uh, well, yeah. So let's get to work. Well, which which one do we want to start? By the way, some of these are going to be completely inaccessible, and that's like whatever. I cannot. All right. So I'm pretty sure we have to open them every day for like the next month. No like three days of doing this because I have like a thousand of them now. Okay, I actually don't have the one achievement, so I'm going to end up accidentally picking up like half of my crab pots. Uh, that's going to bite me in the backside, yeah. Keep picking up crab pots, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I picked up 17. Damn. They're already emptied, so it's not going to affect anything because they have to wait till the next day. I didn't even put any up there. See, I think that's the issue, is I'm like... I can't tell which ones I've harvested already. This wait. Okay, so I've got one fishing level so far. And I've I've only cleared like half of these pots, so the amount of crab pots that I'm gonna have to Oh, this is just Okay, so I did that entire section. Let's go down. By the way, um, for reference, I covered, like, the entire town in, uh, Crab Pots. Like, there, there's, like, not a single place, like, yeah. The amount of quartz I would get from this. This is actually, this isn't economically feasible. I can do the math after because I have, again, the number somewhere of how many Crab Pots I've used. And genuinely you would not be able to like you would have to like raw mine every single item in the game like i guess you could probably obtain this many crab pots if you had like already i didn't fill this with crab pots that's shocking there's gonna be nothing in that pond at the end of the day also this is my farm like it is just simply forest at one side i'm pretty sure yeah i did i made sure of this Alright, what am I at now for fishing level? I'm at three! Okay, so actually this might be a lot easier than I thought. I just realized I might not have enough time to empty all of these. I just got an achievement! I haven't gotten that achievement before, wait. Did I just get another achievement? Oh, no, I've already had that one. That was funny, because I just get the achievement notification, it's like, catch a hundred fish, and it's like, what? I, I thought I already had that one, and then it's like, oh right, because I'm already saved. Ugh. I love how I've only gotten 17 actual crabs, like, everything else has just been just random junk. Actually, I guess, I guess I can just tally up the total number of items I've gotten, because that'll be the number of crab pots that I have. I mean that every crab pot will give me at least one item. Yeah, like, I genuinely, what are the villagers thinking when I'm doing this? Like, they're probably like, this farmer's gone crazy, and then I'm just basically just removing every single, like, bit of trash, ocean mammal, um, any, any crab, any lobster, anything that's in the ocean is practically going into my crab pots and making me money. 1.50 in the afternoon. I haven't even finished my farm, and I'm at... Four now. Okay, so we're actually like halfway there. We've emptied probably a couple hundred crab pots, maybe. All right, that was the farm. Oh yeah, 
I forgot. I may have also covered the map in Gold Lewis statues, so we're gonna see a little fun experience when we get into the square, yeah. Um, Lewis might have had a bit too much money left over, so, uh, just all the paths carved out by, uh, the NPCs. I'm pretty sure I glitched all of these so they'll automatically go back down, but I have no guarantee. If not, then I'm gonna have a fun time resetting everything. Because I'm gonna have to somehow get enough bait. Okay, my question is, how many people threw 44 CDs into the ocean? Like, did a container ship just kind of crash and then... I'm just also picking everything up with my hands, just like, yeah, come here, snail, come here, crab, come here, broken CD, come here, glasses. Team out of soggy newspaper, like, how does it trip those? I should just, I should just make a bunch of fish tanks and just fill them with all the snails and stuff. Just make a display of how I've, like, destroyed the ecosystem. You know, they taught me in biology that, like, ecosystems are codependent on things, but when there's nothing in them, what's gonna happen? There's just nothing there. There is no life anymore. Stardew Valley will be dead in weeks. No marine life. Like, I'm no marine biologist, but I'm thinking draining the entire ocean of any species is a bad idea. <laughs> because I've got six levels today, which shouldn't be achievable, but I've done it because I've been making crab pots the entire day. Don't really want to open up the trash cans. Uh, did I? Okay. I threw Lewis statues here. I'm pretty sure that I did throw crab pots somewhere near here. Did I put crab pots in the mountain? Like, I cannot remember. The answer is... Yes, yes I did. Yes, yes I did. Okay, we're good. Might be able to achieve this. If not, the next day is gonna be me filling all these back up with bait. I actually, yeah, I don't have enough time to empty all of these. I genuinely do not have enough time to empty all of them. Three levels left. I gotta remember... Oh, okay. Yes, we're good. So I did have the thing on that would reopen them. Or refill them. So, let's get back to work. It's now day three. It's raining. It's a rainy, sturdy day. And uh, I have to somehow now obtain level 10. Which I don't think is too hard. Because I'll get my total tally of crab pots open later.
All right. So we gotta we gotta still clear out Lewis's statues. I'm just imagining being Mary Lewis and just the farmer duplicates the statue so many times that it's not even funny. Ugh, more dragging stuff out of crab pots. I just have like a bag of snails just in my in, in like that's like carrying two statues of Lewis on me. Like, where am I placing it? Although well, there's just paths hollowed out where people would walk. Oh, I'm actually getting a cutscene. This is the one where I get my fishing rod. Is this actually really convenient? Yes, it did. So now I have a fishing rod, but that's not what I want. I want, I want, uh, what it, what's it called? Um, yeah. I want, um, crab pots. That's what I want. Presently, it's been 35 minutes of just me opening crab pots. Like, genuinely, what, what is this gonna do to me? What is this gonna do to a man? Just, uh, what's it? Um, Johnny goes dull because he, uh, all work, no. All work, more, all work no play makes Johnny a dull boy. All crab pots no play makes uh, the Penguin Corporation a dull man. So we got level 8 and level 9. Alright, let's go out again. Day 3. Okay, the crab pots. So I gotta actually check every so often. I'm gonna check after like every section to see if I... I'm gonna get like nightmares from just the the sound of the crab pot opening sound. Because I don't know if you guys can hear it, but like, it is just constant. Pop, 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 pop. It. I'm pretty sure I reset this to year one. Kent is not supposed to be here. Okay, so I guess somehow when I was setting this up, I broke the game, so Kent exists in year one. I forgot how you can check. Oh, it'll say at the end of the day, yeah. But that means Kent is not supposed to be here, but he is. Oh, that's what you get from resetting the world from 99 years to 2 or 1. Also, how far are we? 9 still. I don't think we're gonna need the mountain lake to do this, but that means we've opened every single crab pot for one level. Don't think we're gonna have to open that many crab pots. Please. 
please. No. Okay. This is this is where I go through like the five stages of grief. I'm just in denial right now that I'm believing that this is fun, and then it's like, uh, I forget the five stages of grief. But like, there's the one where it's like, you just start getting irrationally angry, and that's where I'm gonna end up shortly, is because I've been doing this for the last hour. Like literally, my clock's gone. 52 minutes, 28 seconds at this point in time. Oh, nine! Oh, I'm at nine still. It's like taunting me. It's like, you can do better, you can do better. It's like, I'm not gonna achieve it. Right. We gotta really watch out here because there's, the majority of crab pots are down here. Other than on the floor. I'm pretty sure the game is like taunting me now. I have opened up the majority of crab pots that exist. There's like a bubble spot like right away from shore. They're taunting me. They want me to actually fish for it. The game knows what I'm doing. It's like sentient now. It's listening to me. Eric Barone is like going like, I'm just gonna screw over this guy. He's not gonna ever get fish in level 10. I just hit it! Oh, I'm done! I am free! This is taking me 56 minutes, 37 seconds to complete. I'm just gonna go save that quickly. Oh my god. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, but that, but that looks so nice. By the way, I already technically selected the profession for it during my modded safe. That's also why I kind of have all of this stuff. What? But that is godly. That, that is just godly. <laughs> no other skills. I'm just a god at fishing. Let's go back to the farm and uh, go calculate everything. So this entire event of me attempting, well, reaching level 10 fishing, took me 56 minutes and 37 seconds to achieve, which is a total of just around uh, 4 Sturdy Valley days, give or take a few minutes. Otherwise, I opened a total based on item count of 3,015 crab pots, which is 15 more than the wiki says that I should, because for the wiki it says I only need 3,000, though there's probably some error due to me accidentally picking some up on the first day. Also, if you want, now I kinda have a question here. Uh, is this an actual worthwhile strategy that you could theoretically set up on a multiplayer farm to get, say, other players to fish in 10? Well, sort of. The cost of this entire thing in game would be 150,000 gold to just buy the crab pots, and you'd also need someone to already be level 10 fishing, or you'd be spending 15,000 gold on bait to fill these crab pots over 3 days. Otherwise, I only got a return of 103,070 gold, which is a net loss of roughly 62,000 gold, which this exercise would have taken, which means I would most likely have gotten a higher return if I, say, planted starfruit on the main farm and on the island. All in all, this was actually a pretty fun thing to do, and maybe go out and try one of these things yourself. Otherwise, I have a couple announcements to make. So firstly, I'm planning on branching up my content shortly to do stuff that really isn't Stardew Valley related, as I haven't really been that active playing Stardew Valley, so I kind of like to branch out, probably involving a couple other games and maybe even some content not related to games at all, so stay tuned for that. Also, my second announcement is, I found something I can sort of call my Discord. It's a pretty generic community, and is overall a pretty growing community. So there's a link in the description below for some fun, and uh... I'm owning it with uh, a co-host that does mainly urbex and content, so it's kind of interesting. Otherwise, while you're down there, why not consider subscribing? Anyways, this was the Penguin Corporation. See you another time. Goodbye. <laughs>